Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Glad to see all of you guys here today. So today we are going to talk about the saturated mixture of liquid and vapor. So in order to do so, we must discuss the vapor dome. So let's get it started. All right, this is the vapor dome that we just talked about. So you may be curious where the dome comes from. Well, let's take a look at the thermal EOS we discussed before. So this is the dome. Then if you look this model from the front, which we call it as a front view on technical drawing. So the x-axis is volume and the y-axis is pressure. Then the projection is going to be a dome. So this is how the dome comes from. So on the dome from the critical point, everything to the left, right on the dome, they are 100% of saturated liquid. And also on the right side, on the dome, they are 100% of saturated vapor. And everything under the dome, they are still saturated. Keep this in mind. Everything under the dome, they are still saturated, but it's going to be in mixture phase, such as this point here. It could be 80% of saturated liquid, so they are still saturated under the dome. And this is PV dome. And a similar concept, if we look at this model from the top, and we call it as a top view, then your x-axis is volume, and the y-axis is going to be temperature, then the dome is going to be accumulated as a dome <laughs> again. So this is what you get. Then the x-axis is a specific volume, and the y-axis is a temperature, and it's a still a dome. Then once again, everything under the dome, they are mixture, and they are still saturated. Everything on the dome, it's 100% of a liquid on the left with a specific volume, and everything on the right, it's 100% of saturated gas with the specific volume. Well, then the next question is how to determine the mixture. And in thermodynamics, we define a term that is called a quality. Then let's take a look. All right, here is quality that we just discussed. And we use X to define quality. And in thermodynamics, quality is defined as the vapor mass a fraction of the overall mass. So X is the mass of vapor divided by the overall mass. So it has to be mass and it cannot be volume. This is incorrect. Then the total mass is going to be the sum of the liquid and the vapor. So the total mass is mass of the liquid plus the mass of vapor. So if you plug this mass in underneath, it's going to be this formula. Then also for the mixture, the total volume is going to be the volume of liquid plus the volume of gas. Then for volume, it's always the mass times specific volume. So for the volume of the liquid, it's the mass of the liquid times the specific volume of the liquid. And a similar thing for the volume of the gas, it's the mass of the gas times the specific volume of the gas. And here is another wrong formula. So you cannot do specific volume in this way. All right, so let's plug in all the volumes into the first formula. So the total volume is the mass times the specific volume. And for liquid, it's the mass of the liquid times the specific volume of the liquid. And a similar thing for gas. 
Then the next thing I'm going to move the overall mass to the other side of the equation. Turns out to be this formula here. Then the mass of the liquid is the overall mass minus the mass of the gas. The mass is canceled out. Turns out to be only V sub F and the minus M sub G divided by M and the other term. Then the mass of vapor divided by overall mass is defined as quality, yes. Then we can replace this term to X and keep going in algebra. Then also V sub FG is defined as VG minus VF. So the specific volume in vapor phase is always bigger than the specific volume in liquid phase. So thus V sub FG is always a positive number. Then turns out to be this is the conclusion, or you can memorize it in the quality format, which is V minus VF divided by V sub FG. So X is an intensive property, and these two expressions hold for any intensive properties, which means X also equals to U, which is internal energy. So U minus U sub F divided by U FG, similar thing for enthalpy, H minus H sub F divided by H sub FG and entropy, S minus S sub F divided by S sub FG. So this is quality. Okay, now let's take a look at an example. So it says, given the vessel with an overall volume 0.4 meter cube filled with the mass of two kilogram of H2O at the pressure 600 kPa and find the volume and the mass of a liquid and the volume and the mass of a vapor. So by reading the question, so most likely it's going to be a mixture. So let's take a look. So we really hope the substance is in mixture phase so we can apply the knowledge that we discussed, but we cannot just assume, so we have to determine it. So the way we determine if it's in mixture phase is by comparing the specific volume. So we know the overall volume and the overall mass, then the overall specific volume is 0.2 meter cube per kilogram. Then we know the pressure is 600. So this is the only thing that we know besides the volume and the mass. So let's try looking up table A5, see what we can get. So from table A5, we can get the saturated specific volume for liquid is this number, and the specific volume for saturated gas is this number. Look at ours. It's really in between of this two. So it's going to be a mixture phase. Yes, as long as the specific volume is greater than the 100% of the liquid, and smaller than the 100% of the gas, then it's a mixture. Okay, great. So that's a mixture phase. And we might need a V sub FG, so let's just calculate it. Then with this, we can calculate quality, which is a V minus VF divided by V sub FG, turns out to be 0.6324, which means 36% is going to be in gas phase and another 37% is going to be in liquid phase. Next one, we are going to calculate the mass and the volume for gas in the liquid phase. So from the definition, the mass in gas phase is going to be quality times the overall mass, which is this number, and the mass for liquid is the rest of the percentage times the overall mass is this number. And the volume for gas is the mass of the gas times the specific volume in gas phase is this number. And a similar thing for the volume in liquid phase is the mass in the liquid phase times the specific volume of saturated liquid phase. And this is the number. 
So keep in mind, you cannot calculate the volume as the quality times the overall volume. That is wrong. All right, this is all we have for today's video. Hope you learn a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.